Hey guys, and welcome back to Flatback Effects, the place where I teach you all the tips and techniques for creating your very own animations and video effects. Now in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this map effect. Now I make weekly tips and tricks videos just like this one, so if you're new here, maybe consider subscribing so you don't miss out. Now before we get started, you wanna download a few files, and I've put links in the description below to the files that I'm using for this tutorial. Otherwise, you can use your own images and just import them straight into After Effects. So let's jump into After Effects and get started. Okay, now over in After Effects, the first thing I've done is import my map image. And what I want to do is I want to take my map image and just create a new composition by dragging it onto this icon here. And then we're just going to right click and rename this image to say map. Then I want to right click and create a new composition. I'm going to call mine main comp and I'm also just going to set this to be HD 1080 25. Otherwise you can set this up to be whatever you like. Then I'm going to set my duration to be about 10 seconds in length and then hit OK. Next, I want to take that map layer and just drop it straight into that composition. Now from here, it's important that I don't move this composition because I want to drag in that original image underneath my map layer. Now this will all start to make sense when we actually take these and we're going to make them a 3D layer. So I turn them on to be a 3D layer down here and then I'm going to right click and create a camera. Now this camera I'm just going to leave at 50 mil otherwise you can set it to be whatever you like. And the last thing I want to add here is a solid to go underneath all of this. So I'm going to right click create a new solid here and you can set your color to be whatever you like but in this case I'm going to use this dark blue and this is going to be your background but you can change that to be whatever you like later and I'm just going to drag that underneath but we're not going to make our background layer a 3D layer we're just going to leave it as is. Next I want to take my camera and I can come over here to my camera tool and just rotate this down so we can see what we're actually working with here. If I keep hitting C on the keyboard I can actually rotate through my different camera controls And then we reposition it so that we get something like this. Next, what I'm actually going to do is take that bottom map layer. I want to come up to layer and then down to auto trace. Now the default settings should be absolutely fine. Otherwise, just copy what mine are on screen. And then I want to come up to effect down to generate and I want to add the stroke effect. I'm going to make sure that it's selected as all masks here and then drag the brush hardness all the way up. Now at the moment we can't really see that outline because we've got our two layers that are pretty much sitting on the same level. So we need to bring that map layer above that stroke layer. So I'm gonna take my map layer here and I want to drag it up very slightly on the Z axis here. And with my map layer selected, I want to say on transparent. So this is basically just going to create an outline that sits underneath our map layer. Now that step is actually optional, you don't have to do that, but I think it just looks a little bit better when we have this stroke effect that actually sits under our main map layer. So the next part is we actually need to go back to our map layer and then we can start to create the trail along the map. So I want to come back over to my map layer here. Now it's time for us to really decide where do we want the trail to go on our map. So what I'm going to do is make sure that I haven't got anything selected in my map layer. I want to come up to the pen tool and I want to make sure that this is set to no fill or none. And my stroke layer is as a solid, but I can drag this down to around sort of five pixels, something like that. Now it's just a matter of choosing where do we want this path to actually start. and then just drawing out the path of where we'd like this to go. So something like that. 
now we can always readjust this so don't worry too much about it at this stage but let's dive down here and change a few of these settings now the first thing we need to do is actually come down to the stroke layer and down here you'll see that we've got dashes so I'm going to hit the plus button which is straight away going to reveal those dashes and I can control how many dashes there are and the spacing between by dragging this up or down so we get our little path appearing like this the other thing that you actually want to do is you want to come over to this thing here which is actually the add button and I want to click this and actually come down here to trim paths now trims path will actually allow us to control the start and the end of our trail so we can basically use it to actually animate that trail coming out from the start so we can do that by actually coming down to the end and just creating a keyframe and dragging this all the way back to zero and then maybe coming across to the six second mark and just dragging this all the way to 100. so if i zoom out a bit here and actually play through you can see that we've actually got our line animating across our map now the great thing about doing it this way is that we've actually got two compositions so your first composition is where we're actually animating the line and it makes it a lot easier to work with because it's on a flat surface and in our second composition we can actually control the 3d camera movement so the next step is actually to come down here and animate our camera to match our path so i'm going to create a keyframe here at the start for a point of interest and position then I'm going to move to my camera tool by hitting C on the keyboard and actually start animating this to kind of follow that path the other thing we can do here is actually come down here and turn on depth of field so as soon as I turn this on we're going to adjust the focus distance and then you can drag this aperture up or down to control how much blur is actually on there so I'm going to create a keyframe for the focus distance here and then I basically just want to move through here and just keep adjusting this so it kind of stays on that point as we move through our frame so you can just keep making small tune adjustments here as we move through I'm also just going to drop this down slightly just to reduce the amount of blur here and if we play through this now you can now see that we've got our camera which is following our path through our scene I can always take these and then just create an easy ease now the other thing I can do is if I come back to my map layer I can actually create some points that actually animate in what I'm going to do is actually come over to my ellipse tool and make sure that I don't have any layers selected on the timeline and then I can create a little circle here now you can change your fill color to be whatever you like and then what I want to do is actually come down to my ellipse path here and create a keyframe for the size at that point move across a little bit and create another keyframe if I go back to my first keyframe and make this zero and you can see as the line actually passes through that point you can see we get that little dot actually grows now the last thing I actually have here is a little icon that I can drag underneath and if I make it a 3d layer I can actually rotate this up and just scale this down and then reposition it on that point I can also come up here to effect down to generate and add a fill and I can make this say 
a blue like that or the same blue that I've got there I could just put it above that point and if I drag the ends in here it'll now appear when that point appears the other thing I can do is if I come back to my map layer I can take both of these layers come up to effect down to perspective and I can add a drop shadow I make the distance about say 2 drag this up slightly now I've added a bit of a drop shadow to my layer so there you go guys, that's how you create this map effect. Now today's video came from a user request, and if you have your own request, you can put it down below in a comment. Now if you like this video, you can also give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can also check out more great After Effects tutorials over at flatpackeffects.com. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.